2024 has been a big year for space exploration with a shift toward privately financed missions fueling major innovations. In February, Intuitive Machines Odysseus Lunar Lander became the first American spacecraft to land on the moon in more than half a century. It was also the first commercial spacecraft to complete such a mission. In September, the crew aboard SpaceX's Polaris Dawn completed the world's first spacewalk by civilians. And in October, NASA launched its Europa Clipper on a $5 billion mission to study Jupiter's moon, which may hold ingredients to sustain life. For more, I want to bring in CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. Bill, good to see you. Boeing launched its Starliner spacecraft on its first crewed mission to the International Space Station in June. As we know, it didn't go as planned. What happened and what is the status of the crew now? Well, you know, it's interesting. Just in the past couple of hours, NASA has announced yet another delay uh, bringing the Starliner crew back to Earth. Uh, as you mentioned, they launched in June. It was supposed to be like an eight to 10 day trip. They had problems with their spacecraft. It took NASA three months to troubleshoot all of that and decide in the end that they shouldn't come down on that spacecraft. Instead, they moved the Starliner crew over to a Crew Dragon and that flight was going to keep them up until mid-February. Uh, and now today we've learned that the crew that's going to replace them aboard the station, they're launching on another Crew Dragon. This is a SpaceX craft, not Boeing. Uh, they've run into some problems with that spacecraft, so that launch is being delayed. And now uh, wow. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, the two Starliner crew members, are going to get another month and a half in space. So it'll end up being nearly 10 months in space uh, before they come home when they started out, uh, you know, for an eight to 10 day mission, it's really something. And, you know, they've been troopers this whole time, but you just have to imagine they just want a hot meal and to sleep in their own bed. But let's talk about well, yeah, one of the most of significant contributions made by private space missions this year. Yeah, you know, and that's really across the board, as you said in the intro. It's not that commercial space flight is taking off this year. It's really accelerating uh, this year. You know, SpaceX is the dominant player in the market right now. They launch cargo to the space station uh, with commercial ships. They launch crews to and from the space station. And of course, they're building that giant new super heavy starship. And part of that rocket is going to be NASA's moon lander in the Artemis program. So huge strides forward for SpaceX just sustaining this pace. Uh, and you've also got other rocket companies coming online now as well. We're waiting for uh, Jeff Bezos' company, Blue Origin, uh, to launch its new Glenn rocket in the next several weeks. That's going to compete directly with SpaceX. And a raft of smaller companies are developing small rockets on a commercial basis. That's really changing the nature of the game. So it's a, it's a very, uh, I don't know what the right word is, it's a sea change, I think, for spaceflight, uh, the way all of this is going right now. Elon Musk's SpaceX company has ramped up its testing of its Starship rocket this year. What has been the most significant development to come out of those tests? just launching it. You know, this is the biggest rocket, the most powerful rocket ever built. I mean, it dwarfs anything. You know, if you think of the, the Saturn V moon rocket that NASA uh, launched in the Apollo program, that was the most powerful rocket in the world that, that could actually fly. Seven and a half million pounds of thrust at liftoff. Uh, the Starship Super Heavy is generating 16 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. It is a truly gargantuan machine. And unlike all the rockets before it, it's fully reusable. It's designed for the first stage to fly itself back to the pad where it's literally plucked out of midair and lowered back down to the surface. Uh, and the Starship's going to continue on on a suborbital flight. They're testing that right now. Uh, and we got word today from the FAA that SpaceX has uh, gotten regulatory approval to launch their next mission. This will be the seventh flight test of this giant rocket, which we're expecting in the next, uh, the next few weeks. So, you know, they have to get this rocket working for NASA's moon program because that Starship upper stage is the lander NASA plans to use to carry mm. astronauts back to the moon. So all of these rocket launches are crucial. Uh, they've got to go well and they've got to launch a bunch of them to develop the reliability NASA needs to put astronauts on board. Bill Harwood, thank you as always. My pleasure.